How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number four in my programming Leap Motion with Java series. Last video we went over uh, getting frame data. This video we're going to be going over hand data. Now one thing I'd like to mention, what I talk about in these tutorials is not all that you're limited to with you know getting data from the frame and stuff. So here if you go on Leap Motion's website, they have a lot more detail, a lot more methods they go over. I'm covering the important ones, so like I talked about frame ID, I talked about the number of hands and tools, but there's a lot more you can do, so you're not limited to what I teach you in these videos. I just thought that would be important to mention. There's a lot more you can do with these. I'm just covering the important stuff. Now, what I am doing in this video is going over hands, like I mentioned. So I am going to keep going with this file we have created. I am going to comment out this print statement for now and just going to focus on the uh, hand statement. So we still are going to keep though this uh, frame object created because we need that. What we are going to do is try to extract data from each hand. So for hand, so we're creating a hand object, it's an object part of the leap motion library and we're just going to call it hand and we are going to do uh, in this for each loop for each hand in the frame so for that you get a list from uh, typing frame dot hands that returns a list a hand list to be exact a special type of list that leap motion created now inside here we're going to get data for each hand that is detected in here and first thing is determining uh, which hand it is is it your left hand or your right hand so in this case, it's going to be a string that we're going to return, and I'm going to call this hand type, and I'm setting that equal to hand dot is left. But then after that, I want you to put a question mark, and the one string is going to be left hand. <coughs> and the other one is right hand. Now like I've said, I do expect you to know some Java for these tutorials, but uh, pretty much it's going to call this uh, hand.isLeft method, which returns a boolean, and the question mark here is, meh, well really what's happening after the question mark, um, it's saying like if, if it's true that gets returned, then use left hand, otherwise right hand is the string value you want. So Next, uh, we're going to print that out as well as some other stuff. We decided to get that first because you can't do that inside the print statement. So system dot out dot print line, and inside here, first thing we're going to print is our hand type, and then we'll leave a bit of a space. Next thing is going to be the um, hand ID. So just like how each frame had an ID up here, each hand has an ID as well. So hand ID. And we're going to set that equal to, uh, we're going to print out hand dot ID. And all that is is a number, a number that represents the hand ID. Now, um, I didn't mention that in the frame one, but I'm going to mention it now, and this applies for both frame and hand. It's a number, but each time, like, don't think every time you run the program, it's going to be the same hand ID. Uh, no, it's just, you'll have an ID assigned for that hand for, um, really the entire time you have it over the motion sensor. So that's when you'll uh, have the same ID for that hand. All right, and uh, same as frame. Each frame is going to have a different ID. All right, now that we have the ID, the next thing we're going to print out is our palm position. So for that, uh, comma, uh, palm position. And for that, we got to call on the uh, hand dot palm position method right here. Alright, and let's just print that out for now. So I got my leap motion already plugged in. 
Now it's not doing anything right now because I haven't put a hand over top of the motion sensor. Now I'm putting my hand over and you can see some of the data we're getting. So it was detecting my right hand. You're going to have to trust me that I was holding my right hand over the motion sensor. And then um, the unique ID it gave it was 62. But now look, when I held my hand over again, I got 63 this time. So it doesn't keep the same ID. It just kept it for as long as it was being held over. Once I removed it and then put it back, it got a different ID. And there's 64 now. I didn't mean to put my hand over that time, but just furthers my point. And then right here is the position of your palm. Um, X value, Y value, and Z value. So um, it's not like a 3D uh, axis like you learn about in high school. The X um, and Y are the same as a 2D graph, and in this case, Z is used for depth. So just remember that it's not the same as a 3D axis like you would learn in calculus in high school. All right, I'm going to stop this now. Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to put my left hand over this time. And it is still detecting my left or my right hand for some reason. I am holding my left hand over, but for some reason, it's going to call right hand and I have had that problem before where it's not that great okay now it's got my left hand alright so it, I've had that problem before where it's not great determining which hand is which this is still a, you know the library is still a beta one so there are going to be bumps but it, it is pretty good uh, next thing what are we going to do now okay well a couple new things we're going to get a couple vectors so instead of printing something out here, we're going to create a new vector, which you can use for doing math and whatnot. And we're going to get the normal vector. So if you've taken calculus, algebra, stuff like that, the normal vector um, in Leap Motion's case is it's going to take your palm and it's going to be a line pointing straight down 90 degree angle to your palm. And actually, I believe it's... I. I think I found it. Yeah, so here is what it is. So that's your normal vector. I wanted to look for a visual representation to explain it. So to get that, we're going to do hand dot palm normal. All right. And then the next thing would be direction. So vector direction equals hand dot direction. All right. All right. Sorry about that pause. My phone was ringing. Um. Uh, direction. Direction. So direction is actually this arrow. So it's the direction from your palm location to your fingers. All right. And I'm just gonna look at my notes here to make sure I'm not forgetting anything for this video. Um. Yeah. Okay. There is something else I can go over here. I kind of put it at the bottom just in case I had time. I think we're good for time. We are good for time. Okay. So now we're going to go over uh, getting, uh, and we're going to print out the pitch, the roll, and the yaw using the information we got here from these two vectors. Now what are they? I actually brought them up on the website while I had the video paused. So pitch, you can read here, uh, pitch is the angle between the negative z-axis and the projection of the vector onto the yz plane. Important in math, I'm not going to explain it too much if you aren't aware of it, but it could come in handy for you. The roll is the angle between the y-axis and the projection of the vector onto the x-y plane. And then finally, the yaw is the angle between the negative z-axis and the projection of the vector onto the x-z plane. So if you don't know what that means, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to explain it to you. It wasn't my favorite stuff to learn in school, so I don't think you would want to sit through it. So system.out.println. We are going to get the uh, pitch from the direction vector, the roll from the normal vector, and the yaw from the direction vector. So both vectors are used for something. So first, we are going to get the pitch, which, if you'll actually notice, it comes, bring it back up here, it comes in radians. So I like working in degrees, personally. I never really liked learning and doing math in radians. So for this, I'm actually going to convert to degrees. So math dot two degrees. Then in here, I'm going to pass in direction dot pitch. 
open close bracket all right and uh, next is going to be the rule which like I said is part of the normal vector so we're gonna set that to math uh, dot two degrees and normal dot rule all right and what's next okay something's not right here oh we got a plus sign my bad and then next will be the yaw so yaw once again math dot two degrees and in here we're gonna pass in direction uh, dot yaw alright and we are good to go so I'm gonna run our program again putting a hand in and you'll see here we uh, I'm gonna put a space between the two of these alright um, run that again just so it's easier to read alright so our first line we get is our data so you know which hand it is right hand the ID of the hand the palm position next we get our pitch our roll and our yaw so that is all I am going to talk about in this tutorial. I hope I did not bore you too much. Oops, I opened that accidentally. Hope I did not bore you guys too much. Keep watching. Next video, we're going to go over getting finger data. And yeah, I'll see you guys in that video. Remember to comment on this video, leave a like, and subscribe. And I will see you in that next video.